Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So I'm here today with a collective haul. Um, I've accumulated, you know, a few bits and pieces here and there over the last few months, um, probably since like March or um, probably early April. Um, so I'm just going to show you everything that I've got. Okay, so as always, I'll start off with eBay. This time I didn't get a lot though. I got two lip products. One is a Wet n Wild lipstick. This one is called Mockalicious. And I also got a Maybelline lip gloss. This one is called Ice Chocolate. Um, I've been looking for nudes. I'm always on the hunt for nude, you know, lipsticks, lip glosses, because sometimes what they say is nude on me looks crazy. Um, so with the Wet n Wild one, um, I was watching, I think her name is Shayna Moore, um, and she has the um, hashtag the Painted Lips Project, and she does lip swatches of a whole different range of lipsticks, um, you know, for brown skin girls. So she's a go-to for me in terms of, you know, trying to get an idea of what color would look nice against my skin tone. Um, so I saw this on her and it looks so beautiful. Um, so I got it. The color is not too bad. Um, it definitely gives me more of a muted nude look on my lips, um, which is kind of what I was going for. And then with this lip gloss, um, I love my Milani um, Bare Secret lip gloss. Um, so I thought, you know, let me just get another one similar. But with this one, the consistency is not as thick. And I've become so used to that Milani consistency that um, I'm not too keen on how this one feels on the lips. But this one here would be good to put over, you know, a color just to gloss it up. Okay, so the next item I got was from AliExpress. And it's this beautiful gold... Um, geometric shaped clutch. This clutch is really really pretty. It looks so much more expensive than it was. The inside is black um, but yeah it's a really beautiful clutch. Okay so the next few items are from misguided.com. Um, you guys know that I love misguided. I get you know lots of basics from there. Between ASOS and misguided they're like my two favorite like online stores. Um, I get it with free shipping which is always fantastic for me and I usually get my items when there's like a 20 or 30 percent off sale so you know it just makes sense to me. So the first item I got is this belt here and um, it's one of those belts that hugs you in the middle. Um, it's got the chain detail which you can use to you know clip it. I had a similar one from eBay in gold but the chain broke um, but I like this one because it's silver. I don't wear a lot of silver in terms of you know belts and accessories and it was very inexpensive so I thought why not. This will definitely cinch in your waist um, with any outfit. Okay so next I got this hat here and it's like a blush pink color. Um, I don't have a hat in this color. I really really love hats but I don't have the best luck with hats in that the size usually for some reason doesn't fit my head and I don't think I have that big a head but um, yeah I have issues getting hats on my head. So with this one here doesn't actually fit my head with all this hair um, but it's really cute nonetheless if I've got my natural hair out and you know um, you know I manipulate the hat a bit I can definitely wear it even when I take my wig off though I can definitely pop the hat on my head and it's fine it's secure um, but yeah it's a really cute hat um, and also what I like about this hat is it's very solid most hats that I buy are quite you know floppy but this one holds its shape really well. Okay, so I also was looking in the misguided activewear section. So I got these really cute shiny faux leather um, shorts um, and it was in the activewear section. It looks really cute on and I also got this uh, blue crop top. So um, together it's a nice contrast, but I got this crop top, I believe in a size 10. It doesn't really give me a lot of support though, although I don't have a big bust. So I have to wear like another crop top or another sports bra underneath. And then I put this over the top, but the material is really, really soft. It feels really nice against the skin and I have worked out with it. Okay, so my brothers and I made a trip to the Puma outlet store um, again, and I was only going to get a pair of, you know, um, workout sneakers because um, I needed a new pair, but I ended up getting a whole workout kit. So I got a crop top once again. This one definitely gives me a lot more support. So I like that, but you know, it's Puma, so they're designed to get it right and then I also got some tights um this one is really really comfortable it's got a little zip detail so you know you can put your key if you're going to the gym you know your key card and it's also got a zip detail at the bottom very very comfortable and then I also got a hoodie this one's very snug fitting as well sometimes for me I like to work out you know totally covered up because you know it traps the heat and you sweat a bit more um, so yeah once again the fabric on this one is very very comfortable this next item I got from a store called Tempt. It's an Australian store and they have, you know, really inexpensive items. It would probably be similar to, you know, Primark and 
maybe H&M for you guys over there. But I got this black stretchy um, bodycon type skirt with the zip detail all the way down and it's gold. It fits me really nicely, you know, it's comfortable um, with some good shapewear underneath. Um, it's definitely a very nice skirt. And then also actually from eBay, I ended up purchasing a coat. I was looking for, you know, like a duster slash waterfall type coat. I ended up getting mine in white though. And surprisingly, the fabric is not too bad. It's not wool, but it definitely will keep you warm if you have layers underneath and it comes with a belt as well. And the length of this one is quite long, so if you're a shorty like me, keep in mind, it'll go all the way probably to about your ankles. And I also picked up some items from ASOS, of course. The first one is a black peplum hem skirt. You've seen this one in one of my previous lookbooks. The material is textured, um, and that's what I liked about it. And then I also got a full midi skirt. Um, I got this one in what looks like, kind of like an oxblood color. It's a very nice skirt. It is so heavy. It's got a gold zip detail in the back. And at the hem, the front is a little bit higher than the back. Once again, this also has that textured fabric, um, which I've been really loving lately. So yeah, very, very nice skirt. And then the last two items from ASOS, I got a strapless, um, kind of pink, blush colored um, dress. It's got a really nice detail at the bust area, a bit of ruching and also in the back as well. Once again, this is a very solid um, item. It's very, very heavy, very weighted. I think the original price was over $100. I ended up getting it for maybe $30 or $40. Definitely a beautiful dress to wear to like a wedding or a nice event. And the last item from ASOS is this very pretty um, sweetheart neckline, strapless um, floral print peplum hem dress. This is in a scuba fabric, which feels really nice against the skin. Um, the fit is really, really nice, very feminine, very sexy. I absolutely love this dress. I'm actually thinking my next birthday, 32. So yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing this dress. Okay, so the last lot of items are shoes. Um, as I said before, I needed to get some, you know, workout trainers or sneakers um, from Puma. I ended up getting these ones here. I love the color. It's so fun. It's so bright. But the comfort of these shoes, oh my goodness. Now I understand why people like to wear trainers. This pair here, it literally feels like you're walking on clouds. It is so lightweight and it gives a nice cushioning under your foot. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love these. Love them. Okay, so next I wanted like some Converse shoes. Um, I personally don't wear them a lot and I don't really incorporate them into my style that often, but you know, on the odd occasion, you do want to dress down a little bit, but still look cute. So I ended up finding this pair here at Kmart. Um, very crisp, very clean, white pair with some red detailing um, around the side super super comfortable um, but actually sorry it wasn't from Kmart it was from Target and then finally the last two items are a pair of loafers um, I was looking on ASOS didn't really find anything I liked so when I was out shopping I went into a store called Ruby and they sell very inexpensive shoes um, but really cute styles so I found this pair here it is black with like a black and white kind of cow hide type detail you know, isn't that what cows look like, black and white? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, they're really, really comfortable as well. Um, very sturdy, only $15, which is a bargain. Um, I will definitely be able to incorporate this into my everyday style. And then I also got another pair. This one is all black and it's got the gold lion head detail, kind of like the Versace lion head. Um, also very, very comfortable. Um, once again, I can incorporate this into my style. Anything black and gold, I'm always a sucker for. So yeah, very happy with these two purchases. Here, $30 for two pairs of loafers, winning. Okay guys, so that's it. Once again, I hope that you know you got some ideas from the things that I bought. I'll definitely leave you know all the links down below so you can go and check the items out for yourself. Maybe make a few purchases for yourself. I love doing these hauls for you because I like to show you guys that you know you can look really cute, you can look really stylish, and you don't have to break the bank. And I feel like if you have a bomb sense of style, you know you know how to put pieces together. The clothes that you're wearing can look so much more expensive than they actually are. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in my next one.
bye the whole thing with these waist cinches is um, sometimes it is a bit of a struggle to get them on but once you get it on um, you'll find that it's fine and you know once you start to wear them you kind of get used to them 